All right, guys, uh, here in my office, we are introducing a new series that we're going to be putting out on YouTube called Go Hunt Labs. And basically what we want to do is we want to address some of the questions that we've had over the seasons of hunting throughout our practice. These are these little either urban myths or just questions that boil up for us when we're out hunting in the field. And we want to try to answer some of those questions. Uh, the first episode is a super common question that I get, which is, why do you use a hip quiver? So if you watched any hunting video that I did, I've got my quiver mounted to a total peep hip quiver attachment. The reason I do that is because I don't really like the way the bow shoots or fills with a full quiver. I also think that it aims better. I think I shoot better without a quiver attached to the bow because I think... I'm not getting all that wind drift that I might get with a quiver. So today we're going to test it because I get this question a ton. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up to my local range here. I'm going to shoot 10 variable distance targets, three arrows per target for score. I'm going to do it with and without a quiver. And I'm just going to get an idea on whether I am more accurate like I think I am or if the quiver doesn't really matter. Uh, and I'm just going to compare scores. For me, I'm curious, but I think a lot of you are far more curious than I am because I get a lot of questions about it. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, I got a brand new Matthews Low Pro Quiver right here, brand new in the box. I'm going to break this sucker out, mount it up to the bow. We'll get five arrows in it and we will run up to the range. We'll shoot for score. We'll just see what happens. All right, so we're up here at my local range. This is the Ats Quail Range in Cedar City, Utah. So shout out to those guys for letting us use the range today. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test my bow without a quiver and with a quiver. So starting with no quiver, which is typically how I like to hunt. I use that hip quiver. I'm going to shoot three arrows per target. I'm going to shoot maybe 10 targets. I'm going to keep score. Basically, what I'm going to do for score wise, is I'm not going to count, uh, you know, like, 10 8 fives or whatever i'm basically just going to count hit or miss and i'm going to shoot paper targets so obviously it's in the white dot that's a hit if i miss one i drop an arrow so i'm just going to keep a score that way i probably will keep track of x count in case it's close uh, some of these targets as you can see they're kind of blown out so um, that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to get started start with my first arrow uh, three arrows per target we're just going to shoot through and keep score see how it goes Out the top, two in. So I'm just gonna keep track as I go. I'll mark that down, drop one, which is silly, but this is what it is. We'll get them next time, champ. Maybe the quiver will win, and I have to start hunting with my quiver on the side again. That had some pop to it, you that? It's like broken rib on an elk right there. I think if I were not, if I didn't have to compare this one to the next one with quiver on, I would give my, my side a little bump to the right, but I want to keep her apples to apples, right? That was terrible. I don't know. What the hell happened there? No bueno. What do they call that in golf? A mulligan? mulligan. That's hard to aim at. Right again. <laughs> All right, so those weren't bad shots. I just had the wrong yardage, actually. So I ended up, my sight tape's not quite as good as I'd hoped it would be, but 
It's a brand new set. I just put it on a week ago. I've been tinkering around with the tape, but I need to put some more time into it, it looks like, but that's all right. Mostly I just want to compare and see what the two different versions feel like. Ooh, that one all the way through. See that? I had that one dialed to 55 yards. <laughs> so that's the drop between... That's your difference between 55 and 65 on a single pen. So if you shoot 50, if you shoot 65 yards and you use 55, that's how much drop you're talking, which is probably what two and a half feet. It's pretty crazy. One hot. I adjusted my cut a yard. One good one, one just a smidgey outside. So that wraps it up. Um, not my finest shooting by any means. I'm learning some things. I'm learning my sight tapes a smidge off. I'm learning that I'm not in the best shooter shape right now in November. But I'm going to add these up. See how many arrows I dropped. We'll throw the quiver on, put some arrows in it, and we'll shoot the same course again. We're gonna add it up, see how many arrows I dropped on that one. We'll compare the two. See how it feels, see if it makes a difference in how the bow aims and shoots and how accurate it is. So let's run up there, we'll grab the quiver and throw it on. All right, we're back to target one. I got the quiver mounted up. Uh, this is one of the lightest weight quivers on the market, I think, which is this little Matthews uh, light. It's a it's a single piece quiver. It's only got one carbon bar uh, Removable actually clips in with a little dovetail, but even that and then you know five arrows in the quiver is quite a bit heavier than my normal bow um, Feels weird and <laughs> I don't know if this is directly apples to apples because I usually don't shoot with a quiver but I did want to just to see what it felt like and compare scores uh, I learned some things about my sight tape on the first round, so that might help me, but uh, we're just going to get started. We're going to keep score again. So three arrows per target, ten targets. Keep track of arrows that I drop, and we'll compare them at the end just to see. Oh! Man, I had to work for that one. <laughs> Definitely feel the weight of it. Here's a little observation that uh, I didn't think I would have. That first arrow, I thought actually sounded quieter, which maybe the, that's the case. Maybe it's a little extra weight soaking up some sound. But I thought the quiver would be louder, but I thought that one actually sounded quieter. What do you think, Omar? It's quieter? It is quieter. Mm -hmm. Damn. Interesting. Man, I think I put two right in the middle so far. Let's go see how we did. First stand, full quiver. You definitely feel the weight of it. It does feel like when I get longer in the draw, a little harder to hold. Looks like I got two in there and then I'm gonna have to go around and push the arrow through because it looks like it ate the whole arrow. Three X's? Eh, maybe two X's and one in. Uh-oh. So far we're doing better with the quiver. <laughs> Holy mother of pearl. I used to pulling those out of my hip quiver. I wouldn't even know how to use a quiver on my bow. I'd forget where my arrow is at. I might get used to it though, huh? I can definitely feel the extra weight on the bow. When I get towards the end of uh, my process, it feels like the bow is wanting to drop. It's like weighing down that 
shooting arm or hand. So that might be a factor the longer I go. <sighs> Stayed up in that one. So, so far, I am clean. So far, I'm clean with the quiver. I definitely feel like it's harder to aim at these further targets with the added weight and then the added weight on the right side of the bow. Feels like I have to be a lot more conscious about my bubble. Right. Not a bad group, huh? Mm -mm. I think so good group at 50 um you know this may not be directly apples to apples because putting a quiver on the bow is going to change how the bow shoots could potentially change the tune i would still expect it'll shoot a bullet hole through paper but as far as where the arrow hits having this weight off that side of the bow i may need some adjustment to my sight you know back to the right but um i don't know it's interesting to look at good group Obviously all three, not in the middle, but nice tight group. So anyway, we'll keep score. We'll chalk it up and see how we keep doing. I don't know, I might be hunting with a quiver on. <laughs> I hate the way it looks. <laughs> and I don't really love the way that it feels, but I do think it's quieter, which is not what I expected at all. I thought it would be louder given you have the other arrows, but the only thing I can think of is it's just soaking up that much more sound and vibration. A little right, but broke clean. Two in, one out. Two. Yeah, nice little group though, still. Not a bad group. So far, I think the quiver's whipping some butt, but We'll see if it maintains its lead, but so far it's not doing too bad. I think I've only dropped two arrows with the quiver on. Maybe there's a little, a little subconscious here. Maybe I'm focusing harder because I have the quiver on and I feel like I have to make a good shot with it. Maybe there's something to that. Ooh, it's going to be interesting. Let's be a photo finish. Getting tired. Oh, blast it. Blast it. Shoot strong shots. Trail. Knucklehead. Ooh, that one's Dotsky. Dotsevs Dot Dotsevsky? How do you say that? Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Dotsevsky. Author, I think. Texas. Two X's, one out. 65 yarder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more to go to determine the champ. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Ah! Bad end, that was a tough one. Ah, uh, so that was the last target. I don't think I made one real strong shot. Um, definitely feeling fatigued. Which tells me I'm not in great shooter shape, which is to be expected. I haven't been shooting a ton of arrows. And then just the mass weight of like having the quiver on the bow, I definitely can feel that in my front half and then really even my back half as I'm pulling into it. But I've made some strong shots, but those three were not strong shots. Not terrible, just not good. But um. We'll walk up there, we'll score these three, and then we'll tally the totals for the two. Quiver on, quiver off, and I already know the winner, but I'll give you a full synopsis here in a sec. Healed it out. Long in the shot. Long in the shot. Should have let down. So, I have a winner, but it wasn't by much. 
<laughs> so the quiver actually won only by one arrow. So I dropped one less arrow with the quiver on versus the quiver off. Um, in saying that, I definitely shot more X's, so I was definitely more middle with the quiver on. I was also, I had two really bad targets. So I had two targets where I didn't get any in, in the middle. And uh, part of that might be fatigue, might be the weight of the bow. Uh, you know, I am at the end of the day. I did eat a giant burrito for lunch, so that might <laughs> factor into it. But um, it was a lot closer than I actually thought. I actually have always thought that I would shoot a lot better without a quiver on and I actually shot better with the quiver on. And I also thought it was quieter with the quiver on than without it, which I did not anticipate. A um, couple of take home notes. One, I'm definitely not in great shooter shape. I definitely need to get more arrows down range. Two, it's quieter than I thought. Three, it definitely is heavier. Uh, maybe I just need to add more mass weight to the bow. Maybe if I build up in stabilizer weights, either back bar, front bar, I can kind of build up that mass weight and maybe it'll help me uh, kind of flatten out and shoot a little bit better. Maybe that's what the quiver's doing. It might be a, a bit of a placebo. Maybe the quiver, I'm like working harder at it because, you know, it's something new to me. I want to try to shoot it well and prove it out. I don't know, it might be that. Um, Whatever the case, take home, shot better with the quiver. I think it's quieter. I don't know that it's any quicker getting my arrows in and out. I still would suggest that it's quicker on my hip, but I don't necessarily really see a downside, which I didn't think would be the case. So anyway, drop comments. I'd love to hear what you guys thought of the video. If you liked it, if you thought it was stupid, that's okay too. But um, I'm curious as to what you thought. I'm curious to your guys' thoughts on, you know, quiver on your hunting bow. and. Do you guys practice with your quivers on? Do you load it up full of arrows when you go out and practice? Uh, I'd just be curious on how you guys approach shooting and hunting with the quiver. Also, I would love to hear if you guys have any other ideas. If you want to throw them in the comments, let me know what you guys want me to test out. We've got some ideas. We're going to keep chipping away at them. Um, we're going to have another episode for you next week, which is answering a question that I've had for a long time. So anyway, give us a like, give us a follow, subscribe, share. Uh, we'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. So drop us a comment.